Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming today again with another Hearts of Iron 4 video where we play the Great War mod with the Netherlands. We are doing well. We have taken all or nearly all of Germany. I mean, I think the border would be here-ish or actually up to here. Um, Yeah, because that's also, yeah, foreign claims, German claims. But we lost that to British Raj, to French, to Czech Republic, and the French Entente, and also a lot of Americans are fighting the Russians. I decided I don't care anymore because I do not get any terror. Oh, look, Australia got in here as well. They have taken part of Finland. Um, uh, because I don't get any territory claims from if I help here. For, so for the moment, I don't care about that anymore. And I'm going to send my I sent my tanks over to fight in Mexico, and I did send all of my infantry army uh, with the field marshal into uh, the Amazonas region in order to kill uh, Brazil and uh, apparently Argentina as well. Oh yeah, I have to fight Argentina as well, Bolivia as well. So Arge Brazil, Bolivia, Argentina. They gonna fall to my might as well. I am building uh, paratroopers, or I'm researching paratroopers to actually switch. I guess I will switch over part of my marines, or most of my marines, and drop them on a harbor in Italy. Um, my guess is I'll drop here next to Rome. And then I'll send all my troops in. And I guess I'll gonna do that from... They will do that through France then. Oh, first of all, I need to build up my air force quite a bit as well. I think. How much do I have? That's just my carrier. Uh, how, how big is my fleet, by the way? Six ships left. It's not a lot. And I don't really care about the ships anymore at the moment. I will have a an airport here where I can put in an air wing of Fokker fighters quite a bit. And I do not have any support planes yet. For the paratroopers so the production of those are still going on and apparently quite slowly i do need um chromium uh, let's try to get it from the united kingdom because of what i'm building uh, you know, those will be deployed to the rhineland to get rid of the rest of the well actually Mm, there is no uprising going on still. Still, I'm training them. I'm getting them. Um, no, thank you. You can keep your divisions. How many do you have? Like three divisions? You wanted to send me all your divisions to help. Oh, no, you have more. You have quite a bit more, actually. And yeah, I think that push will go quite nicely. As soon as we have this push done and this push done, they are on the retreat and we will run down here and get this peninsula. And my tanks are moving through and about. Uh, where is the rest of the Red Army, by the way? There is one. Where, where is Max's battalion? They're actually up here. What the heck are you doing up here? Uh, because you have the orders up here. I don't care about those orders anymore. Go, come down here and push in the south. Together with the black tanks. Not many. I mean, we're gonna kill those divisions one by one. They should, yeah, look at that. They will route, or they actually are routing, and my tanks just move in and kill the rest. That should work out rather nicely. Rather quickly, yeah, already one division is gone, another division is gone. It's just, yeah, look at that. The infantry is falling like flies. The Brazilian tank division is kind of holding on for the moment. But not for much longer, I guess. As soon as the infantry is gone, yep, there it is. Clean that part up. It's a bit unfortunate that we couldn't get a territory here in Mexico. Would have been nice to get the factories over here. But still, it's better than nothing, right? Uh, I'm still having like a couple of factories being built, building stuff up. I could build some more military factories in Germany. Actually, quite a bit more. I think I should probably start it. I don't want the radar anymore. Yep, cancel that. Cancel that. And I guess I built more military factories. Shift. 
gonna build up all I can in Germany. I mean, it's it's my territory right now. Why shouldn't I do that? Come on, come on, come on. Build it all the way up to the maximum. Of course, I have to move it all up to the top. Because more military factories means I can produce uh, more tanks, more planes, and more other stuff faster. Of course, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be repaired, but that's all good. Okay, the uh, National Foki is going good. Sweden joined the Entente. Uh, that's all good. I still cannot join the Entente because Luxembourg is refusing to leave my faction. <laughs> Yeah, they really are refusing. I, I have no idea how I can get rid of those. Um, okay, Budapest. They're still fighting for Budapest. I thought for a second... Oh, the, uh, the Austrian joint the, uh, the Axis. That would have mean, meant I would be in big trouble. Hopefully the Americans could hold the border for a little while. Till I get my troops back over here. By the way, my troops are over here, right? Uh, you should go... Yeah, let's go try it with the full aggro mode and let's see how that works out. Uh, if we are getting a lot of territory that way. Um, I think my red, t my red army is finally fighting down here as well. No, two tanks are actually still up there. Which is a bit weird, so... Uh, get the order to do that. So the oh, three tanks are not even at the border yet. On the other hand, this fight is going pretty nicely. We get one of those two. If we get this province, those guys are surrounded and will get crushed rather nicely and quickly. Um, there, my one of my tank divisions is on over here fighting. Actually, well, actually, two of my tank divisions are fighting over here. The moment they have the problem that they do not have any organization left, so they will fall back rather soon. And then the just the Americans are fighting. On the other hand, Guatemala, Guatemala, Guadalajar, Guadalajar mm, should fall rather soon, maybe. Oh, you're fighting up there at the moment. Could you? One is going down, one going there. Uh, I actually did take a harbor down here, which is nice. Should help this, uh, this uh, support. Yeah, uh, support flow for the American troops, my troops as well. Quite a bit. My infantry is marching through the Amazonas slowly but surely. Oh, that's green, that's green. That one is red, but there's also just two divisions of mine. Now there are more divisions coming into this province and probably... Yep, there it is green. I think they don't really have any chance over here. And that might give me even more factories. I don't really know how much they have built up in Brazil. But we will see how that goes. <laughs> Of course, all the attacks down here are red at the moment. My tanks should have reached the border and are fighting a little bit over here. Um, heavy tank. Yeah, Max's battalion is at the front and actually fighting. We're fighting also. Norway has joined the Entente. Okay, I guess, yeah, to clean up the rest of Russia, the Russian Empire. They have decided to move their capital to... What's it called? Romanov na Murma, Murmansk. And I guess they will fall rather soon. Yeah, the Russian Empire should capitulate any minute now, by the way. One more percent. One more percent and they will capitulate. Uh, that might be it. Oh no, it was just midnight, that's why there was the little lag. I have push in Brazil is working out rather nicely. Venezuela, are those Colombian tanks? Oh, Colombia is also a part of the white movement, I guess, then. Unazur. Unazur. White movement. Unazur. That's kind of confusing because... The Dutch-Mexican war, the Russians are in there. It looks like they're like two two different uh, two different factions involved. Yeah, you can do that. Move your troops through my territory. I do need more steel, and that's it, just more steel. So 
one more factory from the US for more steel. How's my production going? Ah, uh, you can be rushed out. So I have enough guarding troops, military police units. I guess, I hope I did that right. Yeah, that's my military police unit, perfect. <laughs> so, oh, I trained the wrong stuff. A lot of airplanes, which don't, don't really need at the moment. Research close air support, that's all good. How are we doing production-wise, air, airplane-wise, by the way? That's all good. We can switch over to... Well, actually, we can't. We have three, okay, three planes now, which is nice. Paratroopers are being researched. And we could go down this route. No, that's 44 tech. We don't need that yet. 42 tech, however, we will get this done. We will get this done. And we will give our infantry a fighting chance against tanks. And paratroopers are still being researched. I'm gonna go for the next level of mountaineers, even though I haven't trained any yet. It's just like 497k manpower left, which is not a lot. Uh, the push up here is looking nice. That's just seven divisions. Yeah, they're on the run now. That should work out pretty nicely in my favor. Uh, Red Army. Still trying to push for Mexico City. Actually, I'm gonna give you the order to do that. In a push maneuver like this. Exactly. And actually, all five of you will do that. And execute. Super aggro mode. That's all good. Black army. I mean, yeah. You could do worse. You could do better. Um, how many mechanized do we have? Not enough yet. Gonna upgrade you to the max. And you're gonna get a whole line as well. Uh, still 519 heavy tanks need to be produced to have them at the top level. We all look at that. We kind of just rushing through here at the moment. Uh, but it, ooh, they had a lot of tanks there for a second. Perfect. So paratroopers 2 will be researched next straight away. And um, then I actually have to build up the paratroopers. So we're gonna edit those. Uh, you're gonna be a fully fledged battalion. Uh, with paratroopers. A lot of paratroopers. That's... whoops. Please. Stop. Thank you. Uh-huh. And you're gonna get definitely the field hospital. Definitely the recon company. Definitely you need the engineer... Uh, the... yeah, the engineering. Then you don't need the military police, you don't need the maintenance, so you get their signal company as well, so save that. Perfect, and I'm gonna train... Um, 10 divisions. I think that's a good amount. You just stay there as soon as you're trained. We should be short on manpower. That's okay. We just do nine divisions then. That hopefully is enough. I still do need... Uh, what do you want to send? Support equipment. Yes, please. Still short on that. Like 5.4k. And... Yeah. How else is it going? Why aren't you going super aggro mode? You are in super aggro mode, but you're more like going left, going right. Can you just go? Why aren't you going? You're not like attrition or any- oh yes you are. <laughs> I didn't say nothing then. Oh yeah, look at that. Clean up the peninsula, and I guess I killed quite a lot of divisions there. Um, that's the Dutch-Italian war, which is not going anywhere. Because we do not have the front with Italy, and the Russians, they should capitulate. <laughs> they are one, one less percent, they are on 17 of 17. So they should kind of capitulate now, but I guess they will capitulate when they are on 16%. I guess, I don't know, we will see. And Mexico still takes a bit, right? Yeah, quite a bit left there. 
Aviation effort three. Uh, yes, we will accept that. Can you just go like you take this, you take this, you take this, and you take this? Maybe that works, maybe it doesn't. We will see. Actually, you're not going super aggro anymore, you just go casually. When you can go, you should go. My Red Army is doing their best over here, I think. Huh? Yeah, light tank divisions, heavy tank divisions, it's mountainous, it's... Breakthrough? Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Tanks doing their work. I think Mexico will fall next episode or so. That down here isn't working out in my favor, how I supposed it, so how I hoped it would. And the problem probably here is because they have like what's that? That's a level three naval base. That's a level ten naval base. That's good. And they are short on. Oh yeah, look at that. Forty-four out of thirteen. Yeah, that's no good. That's no good. Um, so we're gonna switch over and we're gonna build up. We can't build up the infrastructure over here. Well, where we could build up the infrastructure is over here, which we can't because it's already 10. It's like two has been sent over here. Yeah, there are way too many troops in here, so they don't get their their infrastructure. I mean, we are holding it. We actually have taken this province over here. No, we had that before. We're actually losing it now. I'm gonna lose it against the tank. Looks like it. So I'm gonna leave it there for a moment and then I'm gonna send them back in the f near future. Um, my tanks should, seems like to be all my tanks are on the front. This province over here is holding out quite nicely for the uh, Mexicans. On the other hand, those provinces are falling rather quickly. So I'm pushing towards Mexico City in a decent speed. <coughs> Which I like, and that will be heavy tank breakthrough here any second now. Yep, there we go, heavy tank breakthrough. How many... Why are you falling back, by the way? You have... Heavy tank MK1, heavy tank MK2, and you actually have some heavy tanks, uh, or modern heavy tanks, which is nice. Which is a very nice. Uh -huh, you're holding it. The Americans need to speed up their troop movement into those provinces. Otherwise I get in trouble because I lose them. Or my tanks could speed it up as well. I think four of them are actually moving. Nope, oh, they're actually fighting here. You are actually... Ah, oh, you're doing that. Where the hell are you going? Ah, oh, you're coming, okay. So my heavy tanks are doing what they need to do. Slowly and surely. And it's actually Max's battalion which is on the way. Which is a nice. Yep, I've lost this province. You are falling back, which is okay. Which is okay, you, f you need to fall back. <clears throat> and make your stand strong there. I guess I send in the tanks afterwards. I guess I sent them over here first and then try to figure out what I should do. First of all, I will let them train up to the max. Um, when they are trained up, uh, come out with the, with the maximum, they will be training in the Netherlands to get ready to be dropped. Because I guess when I go on to this airport over here, and I've got, I can play, place 2,000 planes in there. Which is never gonna happen. I mean, I can put in one that costs me 80, I can put in all seven that costs me 650, yeah, which I don't have manpower at the moment and also I can use my other air wings but I have to kind of do that uh, let me just check Italy how much air superiority you guys have um, planes yeah holy crap well we're gonna give it a try anyway and I guess I'm gonna go for Genoa or actually this one over here I think I go for this one over here and I will have all my troops in those two harbors so they can ship right over. The green ones. And try to push through here. 
Uh, I think. I think that would be a smart choice to push towards Bologna. Like, first of all, like yeah, grab Genoa, and another part of the army should uh, should run over here to through Bologna to. I don't know which harbor this is, but so we have cut off the north and the south, and then you just hold it and send in the tanks. Tanks go south, and the green army just holds the north and maybe pushes northwise. I think that could be a good idea. Uh, what did we lose here? Three convoy ships. Perfect. Perfect. Not really. <laughs> Ship wise, still have like the six ships, yeah. Which is Karl Dorman, my carrier, a battle cruiser, a battleship, two battleships, three battle, two battle cruisers, one, two, three battle cruisers, two battleships, and a carrier. Yep, that's my fleet. And I don't have the manpower to do anything else with my fleet, which is a bit unfortunate. And we are nearly in Mexico City. Uh, that's the Italian. That's the one. Mexico needs to capitulate. Russian Empire is still like, eh. How many points is Mexico City? Ten. I guess that's not enough to capitulate. To make them capitulate. I guess I have to take Veracruz as well. And... Those are just harbors, though. Looks like it, at least. Ah, oh, we will see, we will see. Tanks are still going strong. Green army is... I was going to say doing nothing, but I've retaken one province. I'm gonna lose this province again, it looks like it. I might have to pull out my green army. I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, no, I'm gonna leave him there for a little while longer. Well, actually, that's not a good idea. I just lose manpower, which I can use to build up my air wings and everything. So, yeah, you delete all your orders, and you're gonna get a frontline order down here. Well, you should be moving. Just so they come all, they all come over here, like 101 division. Yep, so they just move back and come all over there. Which is good. You, you, yep, you're falling back. Everybody's falling back. The Americans can hold that. If I lose it, no big deal. Well, kind of. It's it's kind of a big deal, but I eh, don't really care. Just go give it a try to push into Mexico City, will ya? And Black Army. Black Army. Just try to go for Veracruz. Well, if anybody wasn't the fighting, but everybody is actually fighting. Okay. But that could work out. Oh, I just saw I did go a little bit overboard with this episode again. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you did like the video, please hit the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel or follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Links will be in the video description. And like always, guys, one more time, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.